Hey, LaGray family, where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, and our help is in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In my early 20s, my family lived at a greater distance to me than they do now. My mom was in Denver, and we would try to plan relatively frequent visits back and forth. And when we did that, before I got on the plane to fly from Denver back to Michigan, or before she got on the plane to fly from Grand Rapids back to Colorado, we would try to have the next visit on the books. Somehow it made the waiting between visits a little bit more bearable, it made us feel like we were just saying goodbye for now, but we knew when we would see each other again. Seven months into this post-COVID time in our lives, I find myself eager to know when the next visit that feels more normal will be. Uh, I find myself eager for a glimpse of certainty, being able to say, oh, just hold on, because the next time you'll be able to engage life as it was, is only three more weeks away. That next visit is around the corner. Except of course, I don't have that level of certainty. So the palpable ache that some of you are feeling in isolation, that others of you are feeling for the hug of a grandchild's arms or a conversation with a neighbor, you don't know when that next visit will be. It makes it hard for our minds and our hearts to get around the waiting. So uncertainty that we're living in. There are a lot of places in the Bible that speak to certainty. Job says, I know that my Redeemer lives. Paul says, I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep what I've entrusted to him until that day. But something that Jesus says we can't be certain about, with all the other things we can be sure about, for our salvation, for our good, for the love of God being for us, something that we can't be certain about is related to, of all things, a date. We can't be sure when Jesus will come back again. When the disciples ask Jesus, Lord, is it now that you're going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus says to them, it's not for you to know the dates or the times that the Father has set by his own authority. So when I find myself trying to peer through the fog of this season, trying to get a glimpse of when a next normal visit will be, when I want to get some for sure things on the calendar, that impulse can become a spiritual checkpoint for me, for us. It's as if I can hear the Spirit of Jesus gently say to me, wait with this kind of eager expectation for my return. Keep company with me, watch with me, remember you are loved. The longing that you feel is a part of the longing of all of creation to be made new. So brothers and sisters, as you wait today, know that you don't wait alone. May the peace of Christ go with you wherever you may be. May he shelter you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he fill you with thanksgiving at the wonders that he shows you. And may he bring us all home rejoicing face to face again once more.